Hi, I'm Linda Matthews and in this video I'll be showing you how to print your photos and images onto fabric using an inkjet printer. Printing on fabric is fun and easy and the best thing about printing your own images onto fabric is that you can then sew and embellish them. You can use fabric prints in all sorts of different ways such as quilts and other textile projects. I mostly use them these days in my junk journals and stitched journals. I've been printing my own photos and images onto fabric for over 20 years and I never get tired of seeing the beautiful images that emerge. Regardless of how you plan to use them, I'll show you how to make fabric prints that are permanent and washable using a home ink jet printer. Printing your images onto fabric is relatively easy and all you need is an ink jet printer, fabric that has a paper backing and a digital image. The best type of printer for printing on fabric is an inkjet printer that feeds from the top in a vertical position then spits out the copy at the front. Printers that feed from a horizontal position require the fabric to make a U-turn inside the printer and this can sometimes cause paper jams. Although some printers are available with pigment inks that make your prints permanent and washable, making washable prints is easy if you use pre-treated fabric. There are several options for pre-treated fabric sheets. You can use either commercial fabric sheets or do-it-yourself fabric sheets using Bubble Jet Set Solution. Using commercial fabric sheets is a quick and easy way to get perfect fabric prints every time. My favourite commercial fabric is EQ Printables. It comes with complete instructions for using the fabric including washing instructions and helpful tips. The fabric is very smooth and this particular fabric is backed with a plastic type backing sheet which goes through the printer very easily. Inkjet prints made using these particular fabric sheets are permanent and washable because the sheets have already been pre-treated. I buy this fabric by the roll because then I can cut it to any length which avoids wastage. If you don't want to invest in commercial fabric sheets you can make your own using Bubble Jet Set and Bubble Jet Rinse. Bubble Jet Set is a liquid solution that is used to pre-treat fabric prior to printing using an inkjet printer. It sets the ink so that the printer ink becomes permanent and washable. Making fabric sheets using Bubble Jet Set solution is very easy. The solution will work with all types of inkjet printers but will only work with 100% cotton and silk fabrics. To use Bubble Jet Set, first cut your fabric slightly larger than your backing paper. This makes it easy to cut when attaching the fabric to the backing paper. Place the fabric sheets in a tray and make sure to lay them flat. You can soak as many fabric sheets as you like at one time. Shake the bottle well and then pour some solution over the fabric. You only need to use as much solution as it takes to cover the fabric. Then leave it to soak for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, remove the fabric from the tray by picking up two corners and allow the excess solution to drip off. Then place the fabric flat on a towel to dry. You can then return any excess solution to the bottle for reuse. The most common types of backing paper a standard freezer paper that you can find in the grocery store. See Jenkins freezer paper sheets which are pre-cut and heavyweight. These freezer paper sheets tend to cause less paper jams. Or you can use a full size sticky label which is my preferred method because it ensures a very strong adhesion. You can reuse all these types of paper backings over and over again until they no longer stick. To attach a freezer paper backing, 
Cut the freezer paper to size and place it shiny side up on your ironing board. Place the fabric on top and using a dry iron, iron the fabric to the freezer paper. Make sure that the fabric is perfectly smooth and there are no wrinkles or bubbles on the surface. Be careful not to leave the iron in one place for too long as it may scorch the fabric. If you notice that any stray threads have got caught in between the fabric and the freezer paper, take the time to remove them, otherwise your image won't print correctly. Once the fabric is firmly attached to the freezer paper, place the sheet with the paper side facing up on a cutting board and trim away the excess fabric. Make very sure there are no loose threads hanging off the edges. An alternative to a freezer paper backing is to attach your fabric to a full page size sticky label. Full page size sticky labels are more expensive than freezer paper, however using these labels offers a more secure way to feed your fabric through the printer. To attach a sticky label backing, first iron the fabric to remove any wrinkles, then carefully remove the protective backing paper from the sticky label. Snip a very small piece from one corner of the label. This will allow you to easily lift the fabric in order to remove it from the label once it's been printed. Place the fabric on a flat surface. Place the sticky label with the sticky side facing down on top of the fabric. Using your fingers, press the label in place. To make sure that the fabric is perfectly adhered, you'll need a brayer. Turn the label over so that the fabric is facing up and run the brayer over the top ensuring that the fabric is securely attached to the sticky label and that there are no wrinkles or bumps on the surface. Place the sheet with the paper side facing up on a cutting board and trim the edges of the fabric even with the paper using a ruler and a rotary cutter. You could use a pair of scissors but you'll have to be careful to ensure that your cut is straight. Check to make sure there are no loose threads hanging off the sides and every cut is nice and clean and straight. When printing, make sure to insert the fabric sheet into the printer with the snipped corner located along the bottom edge so the fabric feeds through easily. Once your fabric is prepared, open your image in a photo editing program or word processing program or print directly from a PDF file as I'm doing. To get the best quality print, you may need to play around with the printer settings, but generally I set the paper on a matte setting with best quality print. Put the fabric sheet in the printer, just like a sheet of paper, and hit the print button. After printing, allow the print to dry for at least half an hour, then remove the fabric from the paper backing and rinse the sheet in order to remove any excess ink so it doesn't transfer or run or become smeared. If you've used a commercial fabric sheet, be sure to follow the directions included on the pack. If you've prepared your fabric sheet using Bubble Jet Set, it's important to rinse using Bubble Jet Rinse, which is a mild detergent, because this is the final step that creates the chemical bond between ink and fabric, which will make your prints permanent and washable. To rinse your fabric print using Bubble Jet Rinse, fill a container with one gallon of water and add four capfuls of the rinse.
dip only one sheet at a time into the rinse water so any excess ink won't bleed onto the other prints or cause streaks and discolorations. Gently swish the fabric around in the rinse water for two to three minutes continuously. After you're done rinsing, remove the fabric and allow the excess water to run off. Then place the fabric flat on a towel to dry. When the fabric is dry, iron it to remove any wrinkles and your print is ready to use. For aftercare, as a rule you should keep your print out of direct sunlight to avoid any fading. And if needed, hand wash using a mild detergent. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my website where you'll find free tutorials and printables for creative journaling.